second. I need y'all to understand this now. I need you to understand this. Why the offering was needed. Because folk are crazy. Yes, they yes. are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Folk will offend you yes. and act like they didn't need yes. your opinions. Folk will talk about you and then smile right in your face like they never talked about you. Why, why, why are you saying that? Because God was offended by Israel. Here I am taking care of you every day. And you can't even believe that I will take you out of, of, of Egypt. Here I am making a way out of no way. On a fire by night. And a cloud by day. And you won't even listen to me. I need y'all to understand the state of God in this moment. God was sick of Israel. It repented me that I made man. I'm about to make some of y'all mad. And God said to you. Come up here jumping in church every Sunday, but then laying down with that man at the old Monday. I know you don't like this kind of food. Oh, yeah. But the truth of the matter is, God needs to be satisfied. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if there's anybody in here that have a desire to satisfy God. Watch this. Abraham, Abraham said, I don't want to make God mad. Even though I might have questions. Oh my God will take me through this. Yeah. I don't want to make him mad. Yes, yes, sir. Right. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. See, because he knew that the anger of the Lord kindled against them would work against them and not for him. Yes. See, right. see, some of you need to realize yes. that when the anger of the Lord, when God is like, please stop like, yes. what happened. Oh yeah. That's right. Yeah. Jeez. God ain't pleased. So yes. stuff you can't expect things. Yes. That's right. Come on. The Bible said, oh, that men would please him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to have a desire to, to want to be in the covenant with God. Yeah, yeah. Want to be in his inner circle. Yeah, yeah. Where the spirit of the Lord is, that's where I want to be. Yeah. Yeah. Want to be in the inner court. Yes, yes. And Abraham had this desire. Had this desire. He had this desire. Now watch this. When you want the blessings of God on your life, you get them by being obedient to the Spirit of God. Touch your neighbor and say, Be obedient. Be obedient. Be obedient. Be obedient. When God speak, baby. And you say you his child, you have a duty to listen and to operate when God speaks to you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Katrina, God said to Abraham, he said, get up. You know your son, your only son. Go off of him. On my Abraham said not a mumbling word, but gathered his stuff. And he started walking mm -hmm. in obedience. Y'all mm -hmm. don't want to hear this kind of preaching, but it's going to save your life. Yeah. When God speak it, grab your stuff. And start walking. Yes. I know you don't know where you're going, but God said go, so get your legs to move. Yes. You got a job to do. Yes. Verse 3. And Abraham rose up early in the morning, saddled his ass, and took 
of his young men with him. And Isaac, his son, had clayed the wood for a burnt off and rose up and went in the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted his eyes and saw the place of fall. Abraham said to his young men, Abide here with the ashes, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship. I love the way some of y'all still looking at that word saying, when he going to say the rest of it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> then he said this, and come again to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now what amazed me is he said nothing, That's right. but he believed. He didn't say what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. But he believed. Mm -hmm. See, now let me show you something. Sometimes when God takes you through a journey, uh -huh. it's not your job to speak of it, right. but it is your job to believe. Amen. It might not look good, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but that don't mean you can't believe good. It might seem that but you got a job to believe that God will put no more on me than I can bear. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. I need y'all to stay here. I got to take the boy up there. We going to worship. Yes, sir. Jesus, thank you. Watch this. He called the offering a worship. Uh -huh. yes. Wow. Hey, yes. nobody cares. Yes. 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 He said, look, that's why you got to understand when, when you give, mm -hmm. you're worshiping. That's, yes. right. that's right. That's right. That's right. Lord. That's right. He called. He said, he said, I know what I'm going to do. I know what the Lord told me to do. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Yes, sir. I'm faced with a big trial today. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm done. All right. I feel like I feel like Abraham right. because if I was Abraham, I would be kind of shaken. Yeah, that's right. But at the same time, I'd be trusting God. Yeah, and right. some, some of you know that sometimes when life gets a little rough and, and you get you gotta trust God no matter what's going through your mind. It seems like I'm going to lose my mind, but, but I trust you. So I got to go up here on the top of it. And, and, and I know what the Lord told me I to do. But when I get up there, I'm going to be worshiping. Yes, sir. 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 And then watch this. He spoke in faith. Yes, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Faith. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. I just got a revelation. Yes, Lord. That's why you got to realize that your prayer can change the will of God. But sometimes we begin to pray, say, it is God's will. And, and sometimes God changes his will based on our relationship and based on our trust. And you don't believe that I'll give you word for it. He did it for Hezekiah. Yeah. 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 Hezekiah was supposed to die. But he turned his face yeah. to the Lord. Yeah. And for a change to die. Yeah. I don't care who I'm talking to in this room. But don't you know worship can change God's mind. Yeah. 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 Come on your way out of here. But then if you let go. I gotta go up here and 